All right, guys, it's that time again. We've got another epic unboxing from Organic Price Books. Let's get inside. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. I hope you are enjoying your Saturday. It's going to be a great weekend. As you can see, it's busy. On this side of the world, I am preparing for my first whatnot sale in a while. So I've got a bunch of collected editions. There are over 20 collected edition lots that are going to go up, including uh, the Ven Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, we got Ultimate Marvel Omnibus. We got a, a set, the Avengers vs. X-Men and the Companion Oversized Hardcovers. We got a bunch of that. There's some Ninja Turtles. There's some Hickman Fantastic Four. So there's a lot of that. Oh, and probably the biggest star of the show uh, would be this Excellence hardcover. This is a Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, Excellence Book One contains the first nine issues of Excellence. This is sealed, signed, and it comes with a poster uh, signed by Brandon Thomas and Kari Randolph, the creators of Excellence. So I got that. We got a bunch of single issues. Everything that's on this the desk it's not everything that's going to be on the sale. There's going to be a lot more. You can see my room. It's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm preparing to go all out because I'm raising money for my first convention and I got to send some stuff to CGC and those CGC fees ain't cheap, fam. So help me out. Grab some books. I think you're going to enjoy them. I think you're going to like the stuff that I picked. We're going live on whatnot tomorrow, Sunday, June 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can go ahead and bookmark the show. I'll leave a link in the description below. But anyway, this is another omnibus unboxing from Organic Price Books. Um, you know, they're, they're the homies. This is a 13 pound package. I'm not sure, I think I remember what's in here. Oh yeah, there's some long awaited books. Let me stop talking and go ahead and use Big Red for what his job is. Let's get this box open. Yeah, man, it's a busy Saturday. I am preparing for this whatnot stream and, and, and getting ready to try birria tacos for the first time because one of our homies, one of our friends from church is actually like opening a food truck. So if you're in Raleigh, you can go to the, I think they're going to be at the, uh, gosh, what is it called? What's the place called? I don't know. They're at an apartment complex. I'll leave the description below or I'll leave the address below. They'll be there all afternoon from one to five. Got this organic price books uh, bookmark here came in the package. So that's cool. Starting it off right. And let's get this first thing out of the way. I have to be careful because I know there's one item that's significantly heavier than another item. Don't want that messed up. Boom. That's done. And that's done. Now, let us. If you're not familiar with organic price books, they really are the best. Like, just look at this packaging. It's all the, it's great. All right, so the first thing we've got here is a box. What's in the box, Kicks? Glad you asked. Let's take a look. This is like the definition of like playing smart, not playing hard or something like that. Patient saves pockets is something that I say a lot when it comes to paying for out of print books and all that stuff. Let's get it open. And Whoops. It's in a lot of foam, so that's cool. There's another layer of foam. I think you can see through it at this point. But let's get it open anyway. Yeah, when I said you can see through it, I just thought about that Nicki Minaj song. And y'all really let Nicki Minaj get away with like just singing her heart out to say, I'll do that. 
How did you? <laughs> That's great. Y'all are loving that song, aren't you? It's great. Ah, uh, to be in college. All right. So this, this is the Something is Killing the Children, Volume 1, Book 1, I should say, Slipcase. Now, as you can see, this slipcase is empty. There's nothing in here. There is not a book inside the slipcase because I already have the book. So if you remember it, and maybe you don't, maybe you're newer to comics. So Something's Killing the Children is a series by James Tynan. James Tynan the fourth, I should, you know, to be exact. Uh, Something's Killing Children by James Tynan the fourth kind of took the world by storm, got a lot of hype. Every single issue is going over cover price. It's kind of crazy. Like issue one is like almost a thousand dollar book or something. Like that's insane. And I honestly missed out on that wave. I'm not a big horror book person. So by the time I learned about the series, I was like, eh, oh, well, they were on issue like nine or something. But anyway, they finally released a deluxe edition uh, earlier. No, not no, late last year. They released it last year, but there was an option to get just the book or the book with a slipcase. But Boom did something weird with the solicit. They had already set the print run well before they allowed people to order the book. So a lot of people were not able to get that slipcase edition the way they thought. And so to remedy that, Boom did another print run of just the slipcase. So you could pair it with your regular deluxe edition book if you so choose, instead of paying like those ridiculous out of print prices. So I remember my LCS actually, uh, they did a raffle. They raffled off their uh, Something's Killing the Children deluxe slipcase uh, edition. And now I've got the book and I can just slide the slipcase over it and it's all good, it's all good. So that was the first item in the unboxing from OPB. And the next one is very exciting. This is the Luke Cage Omnibus. Uh, I was going to say, is this volume one? It just says it's just the Luke Cage Omnibus. Um, and this is the direct market cover. This is by John Ramita Sr. And it's great. Uh, this year marks the 50th anniversary of Luke Cage, a.k.a. Power Man. Uh, and so this omnibus, his first ever omnibus, is collecting Hero for Hire 1 through 16 and Power Man 17 through 47 and Annual Number 1. Uh, so after this, it becomes Power Man and Iron Fist and Luke Cage doesn't get his own solo series again until like the 2000s, I want to say. So this is definitely, it's significant because Luke Cage is actually the first African-American hero at Marvel with his own solo series. Um, of course, the Black Panther, you know, existed, but there was Black Panther and then there was Jung Jungle, or the Fantastic Four is where Black Panther debuted. And then there was Jungle Action. And then they did a bunch of like Black Panther mini series. Black Panther didn't get his own like ongoing for a minute, for a minute. So very cool. I'm excited about this book. Um, I, <laughs> you guys, well, some of you may know this, but I studied African-American history in college. And so one of the classes I had to take was Blacks in TV and film. And we watched a lot of black exploitation movies. I'm talking like Superfly, like, um, gosh, what's the Pam? Every pair, Pam Greer movie ever. Uh, Foxy Brown's the one I was trying to think of. Um, the, gosh, uh, well, Sweet Sweetbacks, Badass Song. Anyway, if you're not familiar with the black exploitation movie genre, it's basically like black people as like superheroes in their respective uh, urban environments or hoods, as some would say. Um, and their primary uh, antagonist was usually like other drug pushers, things like that, pimps, and also the man. If you ever watched uh, Undercover Brother, it's a great parody of the black exploitation era. But anyway, all that to say, that era of filmmaking was really popular in the 70s and inspired heroes like Luke Cage and later Black Lightning, but Luke Cage to a much greater extent. Uh, he was later parodied in the pages of Icon as, gosh, what was the 
Oh, uh, Buck Wild, Mercenary Man. So anyway, there are a lot of things. I'm, I'm strictly buying this for a historical context to read some of these stories. There are a lot of depictions in here that are seen as problematic. There's at least one instance where a racial slur had to be edited out of the book. Um, but I'm just excited to see how this all went and to experience these Luke Cage stories for the first time. So now that I've over explained this book, let's get to the next one. Whoops. Let's get to the next one in the hall. And here it is. The Whammy. The long awaited. Often imitated but never duplicated. Duplicated, duplicated, duplicated. I'm playing. This is Superman. The Death and Return of Superman Omnibus. This is the fourth printing of this book. And boy, is this thing massive. Look at look at it just next to my face. This is crazy. Um, wow. So this collects, I've you, I've owned this book before, and you guys saw my unboxing and my overview of that back when it was out of print. And then like weeks later, they announced that this was coming back into print. So I sold my old printing, bought the new one. I figured, hey. It'll probably have better glue. It might be a little bit thinner depending on the paper quality. I've noticed though, DC hasn't really been switching up the paper quality. So if you got one of these old mammoth omnibus, uh, you're probably good sticking with your old printing uh, because everything, I mean, everything is the same on these new ones. But this collects the entire Death and Return of Superman saga, including the fold out page, from Superman 75, the issue, of course, where he dies. So this has been out of print for a minute. A lot of people were paying ridiculous prices for this book. In fact, like the week before they announced the reprint, I saw a guy on the Ultimate Comics live show pay over $300. Yeah, I saw a guy pay over $300 for this book. I, he was very upset when this came out. I wonder if they let him like cancel his layaway or something. Let me know, dude. I know you're watching this. I don't want to call you out by name. But yeah, Death and Return of Superman. Very excited to have it. The epic event that shocked the nation and changed Superman forever. Uh, this will probably be the first like real Superman that I read. I've read Birthright. I've read um a bit of All-Star Superman. I've read Superman Brainiac, but I've never like really took the time to read a run of Superman, like a classic run of Superman. Um, not the modern stuff that I'm reading now, because I am reading Superman, Son of Kal-El, and Philip Kennedy Johnson's Action Comics, both of which I would say are like a departure from classic Superman, but still very good. But yeah, that's the haul. Those are the three books that I got in this Organic Price Books on Box. Now, if you are looking for collected editions, Organic Price Books is definitely the place that you want to be looking, right? You got <laughs> you got books up to 50% off. You got incredible shipping. You got fast shipping, but great packaging uh, and great customer service. So definitely check them out. You can use my coupon code BJKicks. You know, just say my name at checkout. You'll save $2 on every order. Or if you're like me and you're ordering three items at a time, you can use the code BJKicks, ship it together. It will all come in one package as soon as everything is in stock and you'll save five percent on your entire order just like i did this time do that now don't forget we are going live on whatnot tomorrow uh but let me go ahead and just show you here's what i got these are the three a nice haul a nice haul indeed all of these books are still in stock if you missed out on the slip case for something's killing the children go ahead I, this seems like such an arbitrary thing, but they literally even have the price sticker. So no one will be able to tell your old printing from this new slipcase. So just buy it. Get that. Uh, but yeah, I'm live on Whatnot tomorrow. Links in the description below. I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, hope you saw something you liked. If not, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.